Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my October favorites. I know we're in November, and I have been trying to film this video for the longest, and every time I wanted to film, something would happen, like today. I already had planned that I was going to film this video today, and I'm sick. <laughs> but I was like, I am going to go put makeup on and kind of do my hair and get this video started so I can share with you guys what I have been enjoying in the month of October and into November. I have to sneeze. No. Ah! Darn it. Oh. Sickness, go away. I'm trying to film. All right. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is a hair care product. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen that I have been loving this. And it is the Lavender Coconut Organic Hair Cream from Dr. Bruner's. And I really, really enjoy this stuff. I know the light here is... Horrible. Can you guys see it there? Anyway, I do one or two pumps of this and it's just a light hair cream. It doesn't really smell like too much lavender or coconut because I wouldn't want to walk around smelling like coconut all day even though I do love coconut. Um, but I really do like this. I think I'm almost done with it. I use it at night after I shower. I let my hair get a little bit damped and then I put it on and do my usual hair bun. And in the morning when I wake up, it's really nice and curly, not frizzy. But today I have been laying around and doing things so it got kind of frizzy um, because I was playing with my hair and all that. So, um, yeah, it's a bit frizzy. I don't know if you guys can see that, especially with all the crazy weather here. But I really do like this. It's about $7. Not too expensive, but this is the only thing I use, you guys. And a little bit of hairspray to keep things, you know, in order. But um, other than that, this and a little bit of hairspray is what I use when I have my hair down and curly. Another thing is... Um, I really have been enjoying this drink, especially right now that I'm sick. Sorry, that's so gross. Um, it is the Organic Apple Cider Vinegar All Natural Drink. It tastes really good. Not too much like vinegar, but you can taste it. Um, it's been helping me with my throat, and I'm going to take a drink right now. It's so good. I really like it. Um, this actually has been helping my sore throat. I could feel it just soothing it so but I've been drinking that this way before me being sick so I really do like that I buy that at Sprouts for around two um, like 240 somewhere around there I have two Too Faced melted liquefied longwear lipsticks I really like wearing these um, I don't have that on today but let me show you guys how they look it has a little sponge tip applicator and this one is in melted coral this one's my favorite and there it is look how pretty that color is so I really do like these, and this one is in Melted Nude. I actually like to mix these two. Let me show you this one. And there is Melted Nude. Very pretty. I have this MAC Pigment. really like wearing this, and this one is in Tan. It is a really, really pretty color. Um, sucks that the lighting... Oh, there you go. Can you see it, guys? It's a really pretty pigment. I really like wearing this one over some black shadow. It looks so pretty. I might do a look on that one. But let me swatch it for you guys so you can see the beautifulness of it. There you go. Right there. Look how pretty that is. Really do enjoy that one. Hey guys, I had to go pick up my hair really quick because I was feeling really hot and I have a slight fever so it wasn't going well. I started sweating on my neck anyway. Um, so next I have a concealer from the Urban Decay collection and this is the Naked Skin 
um, concealer. I really, really do like this concealer. I didn't think I was because I wasn't a big fan of the foundation, but now I kind of want to try the foundation again because I feel like I didn't give it a chance, so I'm going to pick that up. This concealer has not creased underneath my eyes. Um, it works very well. And I have medium dark warm and the reason I picked this color it didn't match my skin exactly is because when you are trying to conceal your under eye circles you need to go a little warmer or a little darker and not light that is a mistake many women make they go and put all this a light cream underneath their eyes and their dark circles look more dark <laughs> so I got um, what did I tell you guys? Uh, medium dark and warm. And this color works for me perfectly. Um, as you guys can see here, it's not creasing. Looks pretty good. So I really do enjoy that concealer. All right, and the next two products I have are from the L'Oreal Paris collection exclusive with JLo and Eva. I picked up two. Now you guys, I got these at Target, but I have been eyeballing these for the longest time. And it makes me so mad that every time I go to Target or Walmart to pick up a lipstick, they're either swatched, tried on, crushed, um, something is always wrong with them. So when I went to Target, I saw a couple of the JLo ones, and a couple, like two or three of the Eva, and I picked the ones way in the back and they were new so I was like I need to take them and they were around $5.99 and this one is the JLo lipstick in 370 Jennifer's Nude it's a really pretty nudie color it's actually what I'm wearing today mixed with the other lipstick lipstick <laughs> but it's a really pretty color let me swatch it for you very nude there you go can you see it Come on. But that is the JLo one. Love this lipstick. And this one is 610 and Eva's Nude. Another really pretty one. Can you see? And here it is. That one. This one's a little darker. So I mixed both of these two together and I get this. I really like them. My next product is from the Makeup Geek collection. I bought this Immortal Gel Liner when it first came out, so it's been a long time. I want to say over a year. Um, I need to check on that, but yeah, it's been a long time, and I haven't used it, and I took it out a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh, it's going to be dry. It's not going to be any good. It's just not going to work. I used it today, and I used it... Um, in October as well and it is not dried out you guys I was really impressed because I have had other gel liners dry out but no this one is still very pigmented very um, creamy not dried out and look how beautiful that is BAM and then I also set that in with some black shadow which is my favorite to do um, with a gel liner. Just like anything that you use liquid you on your face, you want to set it. So I usually set that um, gel liner with another black um, gel, I mean with another black powder. Yeah. Eyeshadow. You guys, I'm sick, so yeah. I have this Urban Decay Glide On 24-7 Lip Pencil and Naked. It is one of my favorite um, lip pencils. There you go. It's actually what I'm wearing today with those lipsticks I just showed you. It looks really nice, nudie, and not too black. Like, you know when you try to wear a nice new lipstick and they look frosty? No one. So my favorite brushes that I have been using a lot lately. Um, this one, these two came in a Sephora kit that Jay bought me. Um, a while back a long time ago and I have been loving these this is the, the Sephora airbrush crease crease brush and you use it in your crease it's very hard for me to use a lot of brushes for your crease because I have small eyes and um, I 
just drags the eyeshadow everywhere. But I really do like this one. Um, it is an airbrush powder brush. Really, really do like this brush, especially when I put on the blush or um, bronzing or contouring it lo looks really nice it gives it a nice airbrush finish so those are my two favorite blushes those are my two favorite brushes for that month the next product is this tarte amazonian clay blush palette look how pretty this palette is it's very glamorous pretty girly love it and then it's a black so I really do like this palette. I was kind of hesitating on picking up this palette um, a couple weeks ago, but I'm like, I'm going to get it because I don't own any of the Tarte blushes. And oh my gosh, they are my favorite. I love these blushes. I'm trying to get it so where I could just focus on you guys. But look how pretty these colors are. Um, this is Fetching very nice color sorry about that finger <laughs> and then this is prime very nice color i don't know if you guys can see it but that's what i'm wearing today a mixture of doll face and smashing those are my two favorites i really like this one i don't think i'll be wearing that one too much because it's um the name is beaming but it has glitter in it and me I'm having problems with my skin. I don't like wearing glitter, but th this is a nice palette, you guys. You guys should pick it up if you don't own any of the uh, blushes from Tarte because they are really good quality blushes and well worth it. I think that palette was $44. Um, I will have them all linked down below with the prices so you guys can check it out. Next, I have my two favorite palettes that I have been using, and they are the Shade Light Eye Contouring Palette and the Shade Light Contour Palette. I love, love, love these palettes. Kat Von D has really, really done a great job with these palettes. I really like the quality of them, so I do think they're worth it. I will be doing a full review on these two palettes probably next after this video since I'm already up here but I'm gonna show you guys really quick um, this is the eyeshadow palette very nice creamy this is what I have on my eyes today um, they blend nicely they're just the bomb um, let me show you this black beautiful and this brown here very nice. This is my favorite brown right here. Very chocolatey, nice color. So, don't want to show you much on that because you will have to go look at my review on that palette. Next is the Contour Palette. Really, really like this one too. Has a nice um, pigment. There's one. I'm going to tell you my likes and dislikes about this palette on the next video. And last but not least, you guys, I am bringing you guys my essential oils. This is a little bag I have full of them. I carry them in this little um, box that I have. But when I'm on the go or going somewhere or like my grandma was really sick, I took my oils with me in this little bag. I also have my diffuser going. If you guys can see it, the little light is on. Smells so good like the holidays in here. And I will show you guys what I mixed. I used, you want to fill it up with um, distilled water. And then I added six drops of orange. Smells really good. And then I added, oh! Then I added five drops of the cinnamon bark. This one is a really good. I like the way it smells. And then the last oil I used was clove. It smells like, like cinnamon too, but a little bit um, lighter than the cinnamon bark. And I mixed all those into the diffuser and oh my goodness. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, I think that, oh no, you guys, I wanted to show you. Um, 
I have this beauty blender and I don't know what happened to it because right now it kind of slimmed down but I wet this I wringed all the water out to apply my foundation and it got a big bump on the side it was just like big has anyone had that happen to their beauty blender let me know because I was kind of like what is going on and this is still damp you guys and that's how big it got it has not even it gets bigger than this and it's still tiny so I had to use it like that I don't know if you guys can see there a little bit it has a tiny little bump on there <laughs> But anyway, I just need to look it up and see why it's doing that. Maybe I need another one, but this was not that old. It's actually one of the newer ones that I took out of the package that I got from them. So, yeah, you guys, I'm sitting on the ball, that's so why I'm like... That is it for today's review on all my favorite products for October. Um, these are the products that I have been enjoying throughout that month into November, especially my essential oils. You can never go wrong with essential oils. I love them. Um, so yeah, I will post everything down below, um, the links and prices because I didn't know the prices off back to let you guys know, so I'll go ahead and put it down below. If you guys have any questions, Questions or want to know anything about the products I show you go ahead and feel free to ask me and I can answer them and don't forget to follow me I will put the links down below to my Facebook Twitter Instagram and my vlog channel you guys because I also vlog so if you want to check that out go ahead and see that right here I will post the link yeah so that is it for today and I will see you guys soon